Hello travelers, in this video I'll show you what it's like to fly economy with Singapore Airlines. Just so you know, the flight I'll be talking about is the one from Singapore to the Maldives. It's only about 4 hours long which is why we fly economy instead of business. Let's get into it. Alright, let's break down this Airbus A350-900 seating. Up in business class, you've got this sweet one-to-one -one setup, meaning lots of elbow room and privacy. Economy? It's a friendly 333 arrangement. Those economy seats are 18 inches across, pretty standard for the A350 with a decent 32 inches of leg room to stretch out. And the vibe? It's all about the modern look with a relaxed gray seat hugged by two blues on each side. It gives the cabin a nice pop of color, don't you think? Yes. So there I was settled in my seat and let me share my excitement about this entertainment screen. It may not be the largest in the skies, but at 11 inches, it's still quite significant. What is the experience of watching movies on this screen? It was a total delight. The picture quality, it's sharp and vibrant, bringing the film to life. It's highly responsive as well. While it may not be as smooth as swiping on your phone, it's a breeze for an in-flight gadget. With in-flight entertainment, you know how it is. Some airlines just get it right. And Singapore Airlines, they're up there with the best. You're up there in the air with over a hundred movies and shows at your fingertips. Boredom doesn't stand a chance. Oh, and they even throw earbuds for free. Sure, they might not be the top notch. One side didn't even work at first. But hey, they're on the house. A little jiggle here and there and viola. Both sides are up and running. You can't complain about the freebie, right? Though the sound is terrible. <laughs> now, let's talk about the convenience at your fingertips. Right in front of you, there's a nifty USB outlet. It's a game changer, seriously. No more twisting and turning to plug in your stuff. And if you need to power up your laptop, just reach under the seat in front of you. Boom, power outlet. The reading light and call button are right next to the USB. No more fumbling around, everything within reach. A cup holder on the right, perfect for your drink. And some handy pockets below for your reading stash and phone. It's all about convenience. Note that this is just a 4 hour flight, but check out the perks on your seat. You've got this plush pillow that's just the right size for some serious snoozing. And this fleece blanket, it's super soft and cozy. Sure, it's no business class luxury, but it's a sweet touch, especially with other airlines skimping on the comforts. Let's get real about in-flight Wi-Fi. It's a lifesaver, especially in the economy, where it's totally on the house. It's pretty cool seeing airlines ditch the Wi-Fi fees, even the ones in the US, but yeah, some still charge for it. Can you believe it? The last time I flew Qatar Airways business class, I had to shell out 10 bucks for Wi-Fi. 10 bucks! And you're in business class already. Running a business means I'm always on the go, but I must stay connected. That Wi-Fi let me keep up with my team, shoot off emails and texts my clients without skimping a beat. So, we're barely up in the air from Singapore when they start passing around these mixed nuts, which is cool and all. But man, I miss that welcome drink and the hot towel in business class. You don't get those luxury in economy. The nuts are tasty, sure, but have you tried those salty egg fish skin crackers? They're all the rage in Singapore and totally delicious. Just a heads up though, they'll cost you a pretty penny. Worth it? Totally. So, if you're in Singapore, try this snack. Just as we're getting over the excitement of those mixed nuts, the whole cabin started to smell like lunch is coming. And let me just say this, I'm usually not wowed by Singapore Airlines business class food compared to other airlines. But in economy, it's different. Want a sneak peek at what's on the menu? Just pop open the Singapore Air app. And the drinks? They've got you covered, especially if you're into alcoholic beverages. Imagine having these options on a flight from LA to Hawaii. or coast to coast from Cali to Florida. Dreamy, right? Let's be honest, it's probably not going to happen. 
Alright, let me dish out the flight meal. So, for starters, it was a one-way street. This yummy honey mustard coleslaw with smoked salmon. Then, for the main course, we had a choice between chicken meatball marinara pasta and fish with yellow soybean sauce. It was an easy pick for me since chicken's off my menu. I went with the fish. My tray was decked out with a dinner roll, bottled water, and you gotta have that coffee, right? And get this, actual silverware in economy. <laughs> Fancy, huh? So I just gave this smoked salmon coleslaw a whirl for the first time. I'm all about smoked salmon on a bagel life, but with coleslaw, that's new territory for me. And you know what? It's pretty darn tasty. The coleslaw got this zingy, sweet vibe going on, and that honey mustard Hmm, chef's kiss. Then there's the smoked salmon. Smoky goodness with just the right pinch of saltiness. Talking about a winning combo, right? By the way, if you are enjoying this video, please give it a like for the algorithm. And if you're not subscribed to this channel, don't forget to subscribe if you enjoy watching dreamy destinations. Alright, let's dive into the main course, shall we? A simple plastic container, nothing fancy here, with a shiny tinfoil cover. In the center, there's a bed of fluffy rice and playing sidekick, we've got some crunchy carrots and baby corn, which is totally a veggie. Don't argue with me on this one. <laughs> now, the star of the show, chunks of fish drenched in that classic soybean sauce. It's a staple for us Asians, you know. The fish is just the right kind of salty, thanks to the fermented soybean magic. But it still lets the fish natural sweetness shine through. Cooked just right, firm yet flaky. Delicious. And for the grand finale, it's ice cream time. French vanilla, no less. It sounds posh, doesn't it? But between you and me, it's pretty much your garden variety vanilla ice cream, just with a fancier name. I hope you had much fun watching this video as I did making it. To see how Singapore Airlines does business class, just hit that thumbnail. Until next time, fellow travelers, bye for now.